Thanksgiving brings us to the place of wholeness. But praise is what establishes the presence of God. You can be whole without the presence of God. So many church folks, they are whole, but they don't carry his presence. Oh, but they don't carry his presence. What makes life worth living is the presence of God. The presence of God makes life enjoyable. When the presence of God is not in the life of a man, man begins to endure life. But when God's presence comes, and it comes in the vehicle of praise, you begin to enjoy life. It doesn't mean you have everything, but you have the God that owns everything. It doesn't mean you know everything, but you have the God that knows everything. It doesn't mean you have strength in yourself, but you have a God that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all. We can think or imagine, even as you are thinking it, God is set to do it for you. What brings that atmosphere is praise. That's the second dimension. Of the presence of God. Can I hear a big amen? Thanksgiving brings us into the gate. Of his presence. Thanksgiving. Is the platform. For unending praise. Psalm 92 verse 1 to 2. You cannot praise God. Except first. You are thankful. Amen. Amen. A thankful heart produces a praiseful life. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19. A thankful heart produces a praiseful heart. When you are not thankful, you can never be praiseful. If you are not praiseful, you cannot enjoy his presence. In fact, if you are not praiseful, you are going to be full of sickness. It takes a merry heart that makes the bone. You see, a merry hand makes the bone what? Fat. We can cure our sick disease and sickness by being thankful. May God bring you to that place. Despite what is going on in your life, will lift up all the hands and say thank you. I don't know it all but I've just come to say thank you. This is not what I think it should be but I just come to say thank you. It looks as if my prayer is not answered but I've just come to say thank you. Jesus says to that, to that one. Were there not nine that was, that was here? Say yes, we now. What about the remaining nine? I don't know. All I know is one. I've just come to say thank you. Hallelujah. It thanks for hearts to actually produce a praiseful life. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, out of them proceeded thanksgiving and the voice of them that makes what? Merry and I will multiply them. They shall not be few for I will glorify them and they shall not be small. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 19. Hallelujah. Sorry, Jeremiah 30 19. Amen. But today we want to go outside we want to go beyond the gate into the throne room. And what brings us there is praise. Thanksgiving position us to enter into his court. Amen. To enter into his presence. To obtain mercy. Ezekiel, sorry, um, I, I read the scripture. I, I want to, let, let's just go there. Come and go. Uh, Exodus chapter 20, chapter 25, verse 22. I think so. And um, 
Side by side, give me Hebrews chapter 4, verse number 16. Exodus. And there I will meet with thee, the presence of God. It says, and there God was talking to Moses. He said, build me a ark so that I can meet with you in that place. But look at what it says. There I will meet with thee and I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat between the two cherubim which, is, which are upon the ark of testimony and all the things which I have I will give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. Give me Hebrews chapter 4 verse number 16. Quick. This is not part of it but give it to me. There I will commune with you. I will meet you. He says, let us therefore come boldly where? To the, unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. What praise does, praise releases mercy. Because every time the presence of God comes into a place, it comes with mercy. Mercy. 